Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Uh, 2020 has been a difficult year for many of us. I honestly doubt if many of us in years to come will look back and say, oh, 2020, yeah, that 2020 was one of my favourite years. There's been a lot of tough things that some of us had to work through, including, of course, uh, two lockdowns in the one year. And it's, it's looking like by the end of the year, uh, our churches may well have had their doors closed for f uh, over half the Sundays in the year, something that we just thought was unimaginable before this year. It's also been a year when many people have suffered loss. Uh, earlier in the beginning of the year, a um, friend of mine, Anthony Kenny, a uh, good friend of our church, uh, died suddenly of a heart attack. Uh, we've seen family members die this year in our household. Uh, we have seen uh, members of the church bereaved suddenly of their spouses and, hor you know, ho horrible grief. And then yesterday uh, we received news that uh, our, our dog which had been in the vets having an operation. Our pet, Old English Sheepdog, Holly, uh, died uh, during the night. And uh, I have to say this, that I'm aware that in a year when so many people have lost so much, that it would be easy to see the death of a family pet as something trivial, something not worth getting upset over or not worth mentioning. But we, we were upset. I mean, that dog, we've had her for nearly eight years. And, you know, we've had some great times with her. I have walked miles and miles and miles uh, together with that dog. And I was worried because on one of our prayer groups in the church, a WhatsApp prayer group, you know, the news was put up. Somebody put up about pray for Janice and Nick because their pet dog has died. And all these people were posting up all these, oh, we're praying for you and everything else. And I, you know, I have to say I felt kind of guilty because I was thinking those that have been through real life-changing losses this year uh, may well find this trivial compared to what they have gone through. And therefore, one of the most meaningful messages I received today was from a lady who lost her husband in just the last few weeks, where her husband died very suddenly and unexpectedly. And she sent me a message saying, Pastor, I'm, I'm praying for you at this time that you've had this loss which I thought was an absolutely beautiful gesture. And the reason I'm mentioning that is this. Sometimes we, sometimes we want to take pain and we want to t take suffering and we want to grade it and compare it. And we say to people, you shouldn't grieve over that situation because that's not as great as what this person has been through. And you should just smile and agree how blessed you are and not to grieve. But I want to tell you today that grief is part of the human experience. Grief is part of life. And the wonderful thing is that whenever we grieve, whether it be for the loss of a pet or whether it be for the loss of a family member or whether it be because we're just grieving because we can't gather with people in church because of this horrible pandemic and the restrictions that have come in its wake. Whenever we grieve, God does not come along and say, oh, come on, pull yourself together, man. God grieves with us. We know that because he sent Jesus. And we know that Jesus was touched with our infirmities. And we know that Jesus wept at the tomb of Lazarus. And I believe one of the greatest gifts that we can have as a Christian is the ability to weep with others. and The ability to empathize and sympathize and feel their pain. Because pain and grief is something we all go through. It is part of the human experience. I remember speaking to a relative earlier this year who, having been married for over 50 years, lost his wife. And, and I remember saying to him that all good love stories end in, in tears. Uh, a tear of separation. Hopefully the separation is that of death, not of divorce or, or falling out. But pain is part of our human experience. And the wonderful thing is, and for me, one of the great powers of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and one of the reasons why I'm so glad to have a saviour, and I'm so glad to belong to Jesus, 
is because Jesus is not just with me in my victories. He's not just with me in my triumphs. He's not just with me on the joyous occasions when I just feel like dancing and praising God. But he's with me on the sad days. And he's with me when I'm grieving. And he's with me when I feel a sense of loss. And that's the kind of saviour that we all need. And my prayer for you today is that no matter what kind of day you have, you, you might have a lousy day like I had yesterday, or you might have a great day today. But my prayer is that you will sense the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ with you this day and know that he cares and he is with you for better or for worse in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.